we just finished watching 1985's The Black Cauldron, based on a fantasy series by the author Lloyd Alexander. The story is about a young pig farmer, I guess. He's sort of like an assistant to a, or, yes. or I guess, is he an orphan? I'm guessing he's an orphan. He's really I dumb. I, 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 I just wanted to say that. I don't think he's related to that old man, but the old man is basically employing this child to wash and take care of a, get, I guess it's a magical pig. It yes. is a magical pig. Yes. Uh, and to then comes, a, well, yes, yeah, so that's part of the story. So he embarks on this adventure to go away and hide the pig and, of course, botches the job. And yes. then... Dorbin the, looks smart to entrust is, his, his, his this mission with me. Yes. And uh, only had Ooh. one job and screwed it up. And then he yeah. meets with, what is her name? The Princess Ilanway. Ilanway. Yeah, that's her name. That's her name. That's yes. really sad, by the way. And <laughs> her parents the must court, have hated her. I guess the court musician, uh, whose name I couldn't even pronounce, but a, it's it Nigel a, Hawthorne, is the voice actor. Wasn't that. he like Fueldor or something? Yes, I can't even pronounce it. He was, he was like a <laughs> random bard that just yes, showed up that and showed got up. thrown into the dungeon. And Gurgi, who, who had to have been the yeah. inspiration for Gollum and Andy Serkis, because I was like, I looked at you and I was like, God, that's so many shades of Gollum there. Yeah. It's crazy. The voice. Everything. The, 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 the way of speaking. To... Everything. 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 Amazing. Um, so, impressions. G, what did you think? I did not like this movie. You did not like it because... It was boring. I hated that guy. I hated that kid. Mm -hmm. He was dumb. He lost focus faster than me, which is really bad. That's really upsetting, too. Yeah. Okay. What else? Um, I don't really have what any about, other what thoughts. About this, what about the story? Is there anything interesting What about, about the, the story? story? Could have, no. What, 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 was, what, what could have made the story better, you think? They had a better male protagonist. Okay, fair enough. What about you, Olive Jane? Did you like the story or no? No. No? They, they didn't you guys didn't it, like anything about it? It bored me out of my mind. Really? It really was boring. And In the fact, boy was so idiotic. The boy was so idiotic. Interesting. You know, I agree 100%. Uh, I mean, Daddy asleep. fell asleep I, one time. I, I dozed off at least two times. Um, I think it was more than two. Missed plot points, I, I, I missed what happened to the pig. Suddenly, the pig just wasn't in the movie anymore. <laughs> um, yeah, the, like the, the kid, the the main kid, the main character was he was devoid of character. He he, it was basically, oh, I'm, I don't like being a pig washer. I want to be a great warrior. And that was his whole character arc. That was it. He wanted to be a great warrior. He, I guess he got a little bit of a chance to be a great warrior, but it really wasn't even him. It was he got a magic sword, and the sword did all the work. Yes. And then yeah, and that then thing I, was I, like I guess, flying around without his, him even touching yeah, it. Yeah, you know, all he did was basically hold on the handle while the sword dragged him around and, and did all the Polar. daring do. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, That's true. He he had one job. To take Just care bring of the pen. pig through the forest, and what does he do? He daydreams, loses the pig, uh, he ends up in a, the dungeon of the Horned King, who is this ominous-looking bad guy who is actually immensely inept as well. He had he, he was drawn very cool. He was drawn sort of cool. I didn't like him. For 1985, I, I think that's... I think I think he would have been cooler if they just didn't have a face underneath that hood. It was just like the eyes. Ooh, I, I that would have been much cool. better. But anyway. He wasn't. But remember, he wasn't keep that in mind, this is 1985, and for this Disney, is 1985. This, is, this yeah. is pretty dark stuff. I mean, they're doing like it's dark, but, Beauty and but, all this other. It's dark jazz. in the fact that there were a lot of skeletons, but nobody died. No. Yeah, well, Gorgi. Gorgi died, died, and then he was resurrected. And, and That's. And, and, yeah. Gorgi just fell into a pot and then a bunch of flames came out of it. Yeah, I don't and that know didn't make any sense to me either. 
there was I'm just, sure the books are more detailed. I'm sure there's more yeah, like in the book, when you... the, the main problem for me was that when I watch a movie, you gotta give me an interesting character to latch on to, your, the point of view character. And that was this kid, whose name I can't even remember. Taron. Taron. And he, he was just so devoid of anything interesting. And one thing, another thing I noticed, for a Disney film, the faces on these characters, especially the young ones, were so bland <laughs> and absolutely, they had no character, they, they showed very little emotion. I mean, well, I think, I Karen think, this, his I think at this made. point, there's still, I mean, it's still, it still looks like 50s classic Disney drawing even, style. Even that showed more emotion. Well, I don't know. I, I uh, mean, to me, I'm I mean, looking at it, and it, 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 to me, it was very reminiscent of The Rescuers, which I also saw in theaters. I did see this The Rescuers, as a, as a the kid. characters had way more emotion on their faces, too. Oh, the story was also more interesting. But anyway, so yeah, I, I have the book in kid. my bookshelf. Mom. Do you? Was cute. Uh, I used to have the board game. That was one of my favorite movies. But anyway, so I actually saw this in the movie theaters, and I did not remember it. But I remember that there was like this big scandal about how this traumatized children. If I what? remember, what I guess because there were skeletons. There, that, yeah, honestly, there was that nothing was, that remotely was, there was, there was, scary in this there movie. There were skeletons. There was dark backgrounds, and there was fire. Oh, and, oh, I maybe the, when the pig got captured by the, the, the dragon things. That's peril. There's your peril. I'm sure the IMDb there's, there's, there's Honestly, there. um, I don't know why they put the pig in there. Well, because the pig the was pig clairvoyant was, or something. Yeah, the that, pig was that clairvoyant. That was really... Yeah, I don't... The pig wasn't there at... Well, he was there to show the old man a picture of them. <laughs> yeah, I gotta be honest. I, I in the beginning of the movie, I thought, oh, the pig's gonna turn out to be a cursed person. And that's what that's, I thought. The pig's too, gonna be released I, from the curse, and remember. that's probably gonna be the girl, and and he's gonna, I thought that too! he's gonna fall in love with the the girl who used to be a pig. But then suddenly he's in the dungeon, and uh, it's like out of the floor comes a girl. What was her story? Did I fall asleep through that? Why the hell was she even there? <laughs> she said that the Horn King captured her because remember that little glowing ball that she had? Yeah. She thought, I guess the Horn King thought that the glowing ball was going to tell him where the cauldron was. So this guy was exhausting well, all his options to figure out where the hell this cauldron was. And for such a bad guy, you'd figure once the option exhausted itself like oh your your little ball can't tell me where it is okay Die. uh let's just kill her and eat her or something <laughs> that never happens the, the taron he will oh, throw him into the dungeon they just he he's basically running a hotel the horn king and he's like well, he, he wants this army he wants this army and he already has a damn army like, well they're 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 yeah but they're the able army, to the kill army's undead and they can't be Kill, oh, so yeah, that happen. undead army really did a bang up job. What did they do? Barely march across a drawbridge before they disintegrated? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure it's more fleshed out in the movies. I mean, in the, in the novels. But, uh, yeah. okay, so no one really particularly cared for this. Yes, so no one. I, I, I was I, very I'm, bored. I'm going to say this is a hard pass for three quarters. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. I thought some of the imagery was really cool. It did lack a better story. Um, I thought the voice work was decent. I didn't really care for the voice work no. either. The, the kid, the, whoever did the voice work of the kid was as bland as the drawing of the kid. <laughs> the girl, bland, bland as hell. Did she, did she even have a personality, really? Uh, I mean, she was damsel in distress it for was, about two minutes. It was minutes. pretty much just, I here to get you out of the dungeon. Right. Okay, you serve your And purpose. then they sort of have, I guess, a falling in love at the end? Yeah, Gorgi sort of, sort of tricks them into kissing, kissing each, each other. other. Uh, Spoiler. Yeah. This right. movie came out in, like, what, 1984, 1985? 1985. No, no one really cares. And I think, I, I guess, what's his name again? Taron? Taron. Wow. You really don't yeah. want to remember his name. I guess Jack uh, fell asleep. You can't Ta blame him. I guess Taryn's character arc is that he realizes he doesn't want to be a warrior, but that's not really... Like, he, he's the chance to get the magic sword back, and instead he chooses to resurrect Gurgi. <laughs> and, and by the way, I wanted Gurgi to die. They just ruined the whole story by letting Gurgi live. I, you know... Yeah. <laughs> the 
you guys were passionate about killing this that, kid. Yeah, I don't know. It, to, to me, it, it, it was the kid really. To, to me, the kid really didn't learn any kind of lesson. He, he ugh, whatever. I, I, this, this film was draining. This is. It wasn't like like when I was watching it and I was awake. <laughs> I have to add it, that. And it, it I was, was awake. It wasn't like a gut punch, like some kids movies are I've, I've mentioned it before sometimes you're watching it and the acting is so terrible peter rabbit. And, uh, oh god peter rabbit. well peter rabbit was not peter rabbit wasn't a gut punch peter rabbit was enraging <laughs> like, like infuriating like to the point where i i for a while there i just i hated james corden i just i couldn't stand him for voicing that stupid annoying rabbit yeah you're supposed to like peter rabbit in that movie no. but he was the most hateable character yes he was a bastard <laughs> But in this one, it wasn't really like that. It was just, I was like watching it and I'm like, something come on, give, give me something to, give me something to latch onto, to enjoy, to, to root for even. I wasn't rooting for the good guys in this movie. Uh, I wasn't even rooting for the bad guy, to be honest, because I, I didn't think he was that impressive. I mean, John Hurt's voice is great. Yeah. But nothing was interesting. But he sat in it. The, he sat in it. This is what this is what the Horn King did. He would sit in his chair, and he would strangle his little henchman. Yeah. It was like... It, <laughs> that's I, exactly I, what he did. That's, yes, that's all he that did. Is, it would be I'm... like if Homer Simpson was was a was a skeleton. That That's... The Horned King. And, <laughs> okay. Yeah, that really All would right, be so it. I wasn't rooting for I, I, I gotta be honest, I didn't remember this much about this movie. I must have blocked it out. It, it isn't that impressive. I mean, it's, I mean, it looks like traditional Disney 80s kind of films. There's nothing special about it. I don't wow, think at that point Disney was then. doing... I think Come they, on, I think, you have to, you have I think to give them... I time where Disney really dropped the ball and was just pumping out junk. Well, I think this, this the animation in this was really poor for as far as Disney standards go. Prior to this, it was a lot better. I mean, it was like the old 2D's hand-drawn cell animation, but you could see they really cared. This looked almost like it was Rush. like made for TV almost because like there was a lot... Sometimes you'll see an animation when like they're reusing cells or they want it to speed up and take time. You'll notice that the colors on a character are, are kind of darker and then the part of their body that's moving, the color is very light. And I saw that in a couple of places in this. And I was like, that's not Disney quality. That's sloppy. That's just, that's just really lazy work. They, the, the arm is, is another cell on top of the other thing. That's where the other thing is darker. And in, in real Disney like cell animation, they're they're really going all out. They're drawing the whole figure. They're not just like animating its arm and, and leaving the rest behind. This was this was just Bless you. this was not up to snuff. Okay, fair enough. And that also kind of like, took me out of it. Took okay. me out of it. It real it, it it looked like an old He-Man cartoon. You know, it's funny, I was thinking about Skeletor. Was Skeletor scarier than the Horn King? Skeletor was goofy, but he looked better than... Yeah, the Horn King. Than all, I mean, Skeletor was like... <laughs> Skeletor didn't miss leg day. He, he was pumping he was <laughs> iron. I mean, for, for an evil wizard, that dude was hitting the jacked. gym hard. He was yeah. jacked, yeah. I think even more so than He-Man. They were all like just Oh, that's ripped. true. Wait. It was yeah. like... No, Prince Adam. He was more jacked than Prince Adam. Now, for another, yeah, all, <laughs> look going on the deep dive on He-Man, but seriously, every, that, that's like one thing I always find funny about, like, uh, old cartoons and, and comic books is like, you're, you're looking at this thing and it's, and it's like, uh, super genius, Reed Richards, you're thinking, oh, he's this, here's some egghead sitting in his lab all day, not really getting much exercise, no, and then suddenly he he's jacked. just like, he's got like an eight pack, he's just, yeah. <laughs> Let me pick up this pencil. Ooh. Ooh. Got these guns. <laughs> <laughs> sounds horrible. <laughs> you are not far off. You are not far off. I'm gonna pick up this chalk so I can write this equation on the board. <laughs> Alright, so let's wrap it up because I can feel the dislike of this movie across the table. Yeah, this was uh, not. So this Can't we like read two things from the parents guide before this ends? Do you guys really want to hear stuff from the parents? I, I want to hear uh, what they have to say. I don't care. Yeah, you will 
You I want what? to hear what that is. I already kind of know what the parents got. It's going to say it's got sex and nudity. You think so? Yes. There was a yeah. whole little scene where that guy was lost in that woman's boobs. You know the parents got <laughs> There's three instances of sex and nudity. Let what about see. profanity? I bet you that witch's boobs are, are, are maybe two of those instances. That is the second one. The first one, minor sensuality. A large buxom gypsy woman is briefly seen oh, dancing yeah. seductively on a table for oh, the that. drunken soldiers. Number two. One of the witches tries to seduce Fludur, but by prowling on top of him. After Fludur is turned into a frog, there's a rather comical moment when he gets turned, when he gets stuck in the booksome, which is... <laughs> and the third one, ready? The kiss at the end. The kiss. How'd you know? God dang. Because what's more sensual than two people's heads kissing. being slammed together by... <laughs> What they did that in Ponyo, too. Like a dog or a monkey? I don't even know what the hell Florida or a Derby or whatever it's called. Derby? Eight instances. Eight Ger instances Gergi. of violence and gore. One of profanity. Ah, I called it. I said what about profanity. There's profanity? What was the profanity? None, aside from some minor name calling. So then why, why even why put it? Why even put it in there? <laughs> Frightening and intense scenes. There's five of them. Number one, the Horn King and his dragons appear very demonic and may be frightening for young children. <laughs> Number two, the dragons demonic. chase and terrorize Kenwen in one sequence that's rather suspenseful. Number three, the dead soldiers appear as living skeletons and are rather ghastly. Under spoilers, Gurgi sacrifices himself to the cauldron at the end of the film, but is later resurrected. Number five, the Horn King's death is rather frightening as he's torn to shreds very graphically by the cauldron. Are you with kidding lots me? Of blood seen everywhere, with his fat flesh melting and his body twitching very violently before it explodes. Whoever wrote that wrote that very nicely. Yeah. That's uh, another thing. Why was the Horn King pulled in but not the kid? I don't know. Yeah, no. he was right next to it. The heart wants what the heart wants. You know what? If the, the, if the born that. king hit the gym like Skeletor, <laughs> the film would have been yes, very yes. Violence and gore. Should we should we go down this? <laughs> yes. Describe it all. There's eight instances. Number one, fantasy violence throughout. Number two, a pig is threatened to be killed if a character doesn't cooperate. <laughs> Number three, Taron had some blood running from his mouth when chasing after Henwin. Yeah, oh, and, no. and bad really continuity. That blood disappeared when you climbed up that mountain. There was a couple of bad continuities in there. Yes, like, like, excellent. Yeah, Pick up. Good job, Olive. Oh, I yeah. saw that what, yeah. when you ran up there. And remember, remember like, when what? he took the chains off the gate so the little boat could go through the gate? And then the chains When he turned around, around, the gate's there with the chains on it. And then yeah. they show the, the thing falling down. And guess what? The, cha the gate's wide open, no chains anymore. This was just, yeah, this was sloppy. sloppy. This was this was not that kind of music. not Disney quality. Like you could tell that they probably fired everybody, and this was this was animated by like local Union Six or something. <laughs> <laughs> keep on reading. Am I am I gonna keep reading? Yeah. Yeah, I'm kind of intrigued now. Uh, what was oh, it's doing balance and four. One, two, three, number four. Taran duels using the magic sword with several soldiers. The sword obliterates their weapons into shreds of metal and wood. Nice. So is that violence against weapons? I guess. <sighs> Number five. The Horn King <laughs> resurrects dead weapons? soldiers using the Black Cauldron and they massacre several living soldiers off screen. And we see Taran, Elowen, and Fluter react to this. Do they? I don't see them massacring. <laughs> I don't remember the soldiers react to running this. away, but I don't remember them. I, yeah, the so only thing I remember is the soldiers walking out of the castle, really. <laughs> yeah, because that... Number is. six. In a deleted scene, the cauldron born kills one of the Horn King's soldiers, and the soldier's body is dissolved by mist. Number seven, the, sol the dead soldiers start to decompose when the skull when the cauldron is corrupted. Wait, if it's a deleted scene, why even bring it up? Maybe yeah. there's like a special edition out there that people are watching. I'm, I'm assuming the parents' guide is 
input by parents or individuals into the parents guide i'm guessing yeah uh lastly and under spoilers taryn and the horn king jewel and the horn king gets sucked into the cauldron and disintegrates this mostly comprises of his flesh and cloak being torn from his bones in a tornado before being dumped in the cauldron with fire and lightning striking through him this is all animated but still very frightening Oh no. For your young dun, dun, dun. All right. All right yeah. Let's get this done. Well, what's, your, what's your number? What's the 10? What's the 10? Mm, I'm feeling generous, so I'll give this movie a 3. Generous at 3. What about you, all, G? I, I, I was thinking you would give it like a 6, Gracie. Well, 6 I, is better than average. Yeah. Yeah, this was not better than average. 5 is, 5 is, right, you know, I, I don't like it, I don't hate it. So six would be, I kind of like it. So three is, I don't like it at all. Yeah, two would be, I dislike it strongly, and one is like, oh my god, I hate this movie so much, it should be destroyed, no one should ever see this. Uh, <laughs> I'll give it a five. I, I, five. You, didn't, you, didn't, you didn't like it, but you didn't hate it. No. Okay. <laughs> I too would give it a five. I didn't hate it. I didn't love it. I sat there. I watched. It. I probably don't need to see it ever again. Yeah. I'm giving it a two. <laughs> wow, I, I, that I, is your lowest that's my grade lowest ever. ever. I, I dislike this film a lot. It was <laughs> not only because Taryn is boring. All the other, all the other characters are boring. Googie's annoying. <laughs> uh, the Horn King is unimpressive. Or yeah, scary. Uh, He's or not scary. scary. The fact that it's a Disney movie and it was so shoddily animated, huge mark against that. I expect more. At least if the story's not going to be great, at least I'm going to be impressed with some kind of visuals. I wasn't impressed with any of it. Like I said, this this could have been an episode of He-Man. It's like that level, that quality of animation. Uh, and, and another thing, Uh-oh. it begins interesting. The beginning with their little narration by John Huston, who has that old, freaking amazing, sort voice. of like crispy yet somewhat moist voice of his. <laughs> uh, he, it, he gives a good little description of what the hell the Black Cauldron is and how it's got like a pretty twisted story behind it. Yeah. And then the next thing you're just, oh, I'm Taryn, I'm the dullest protagonist ever. Yeah, and come on. The dullest protagonist ever, I feel like. In a cartoon? Worse. I, I've never seen a cartoon with a more boring protagonist. It takes a lot to get you to fall asleep during a movie, so that was impressive. Yeah, that was impre- yeah, impressive. Usually mom's the one who I'm usually the one that's- You were wide awake, awake through the I whole thing. Because I was trying to remember. I really, like how you were saying in one of our old reviews about how you don't remember Splash at all. Mm-hmm. I know I went to see this at the theater. You said that in Ponyo. Is that what it was? Yeah. I don't remember this movie. I know that I went to see it. I remember like the furor of like, oh my god, this is so dark and twisted. I remember that too. Yeah, there was like a big brouhaha over it. Like they, I think they wouldn't even release it on video for some yes, for a long, long time, right? Yeah. And uh, I always like after Disney Plus came about. I was I remember us going through the movies. I was like, oh, Black Cauldron. I remember seeing this, but I don't remember anything about it. I'd be curious to see it again. Girl. Yeah. Blech. Blech. Uh, but yeah, I mean, oh. yeah, you're absolutely right. It, well, there wasn't really anything impressive about it. It's actually kind of disappointing for a Disney movie. But I feel like this was 85. This is in that time frame where horror is king right like the nightmare on elm street movies are big halloween is big yeah all like, those like, like you said movies. disney was and their animation department was kind of having like a lull right there. right i mean it I didn't, mean, it didn't like really pick up again until like little mermaid and, 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 and like beauty, beauty and, and the beast, beast and the, right like the, the so i think princess movies yeah i think I, I mean, before this, what was like a good Disney movies? Maybe The Rescuers, and that was like late seventies, wasn't it? I feel like. Yeah, but uh, yeah, and like like The Rescuers and and One Hundred One Dalmatians and stuff like that. They all had that like that I style, don't that like style of animation. Like, like that, anymore. The, the, the characters were drawn in that kind of in a certain particular kind of way. They're almost like everybody looked 
you could, you could tell they were everybody was really high on like uh, British culture or whatever because you know you always got like the real lanky skinny dude with a big nose and you know it, it was a pretty classic <laughs> character type and you could see they were sort of going, going for this for in this but it, it didn't translate. God, I can't I, seriously. There's, these characters look so bland, and for some reason they kept showing close-ups of their faces, and I don't know if that was maybe what they. Maybe they were like blowing up the the film cell because whenever they showed a close up of the face, like it got really sketchy. Mm-hmm. Like the line work around the characters was really sketchy. Hmm. It was almost yeah. It, it looked almost like pencil work, like they didn't ink it in or something. Interesting. I didn't notice that. Yeah, a lot of the characters didn't. I I really I'd be interested to hear if there was like production problems on this and they weren't able to like truly finish it. It might be interesting to deep dive. I know this isn't your favorite film, but I'm always curious about stuff like that. And again, when I'm watching movies, and I think I said this to G, like, what would have made this movie better? Whenever I see something that I don't particularly care for, I immediately go into like. <laughs> crisis not crisis but like i don't know cleanup mode like what could have made this movie better yeah i don't know what do you think i think just a better script with a more interesting uh main character seriously you have your point of view character and you're basically riding with this guy to complete the adventure you want that guy to have the best character arc you want and him. he didn't have a good you, want, you want him no you want him to have an interesting personality you want him to have quirks that you admire and this guy didn't his his main thing was i i would really like to fight and he's not really it's not like he's tra- like, you know training, training or anything or like that. He just, that he's, goal. he just thinks it's gonna fall into his lap, which it sort of did with the sword, but then that went away because then the witches took it. Yeah, and mm, he, nothing, mm. nothing. Honestly, nothing this kid does is earned, really. Yeah. It's just he falls ass backwards into everything. Yeah. I, I did not like that character. He wasn't hateable. He didn't do anything that was like irritating, but he wasn't interesting. Okay, I mean, fair and enough. And none of the other characters picked up the slack in that department either. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, and I, I think, like, they were going for some comedy there with Groovy, whatever Gurgy. they were, Gurgy, and the Bard, and uh, the Goblin assistant to the, the Horn King. None of the, nothing they did hit as far as being comedic. Do you remember if there was any, like, licensing and retail of toys of this? I, I feel like there wasn't. I don't think so. Yeah. No. I mean, if, if I remember commercials for this, and it seemed to have come and came and went, and then, from what I heard, people were upset by it. Like I said, I don't, I don't even think they released it on video for a really long time. That sounds about right. That sounds about right. I think I tried looking for it at my local video store when I was in high school, or no, because I was, uh, yeah, I was in junior high when this came out, so, but yeah, I never really saw it. Like I said, when I saw it on, uh, when we got Disney Plus and I saw it, I was like, oh, I have to revisit this because I'm curious to see, because I didn't remember anything of it. I The only thing I remembered was the army of the skeletons like rising that was one of the because i thought that was a cool scene i remember the commercials and being like yeah this looks awesome yeah but nobody my parents never took me to see it they did you a favor they did me a although i you know what i was a little kid when it came out i probably i probably would have been really into it as i I was into cartoons i love cartoons even the crappy ones (laughs) like like that uh what was it uh Remember that Lord of the Rings? Not oh. the Russ Bankin ones. There was like there this, was another one. The only one I remember the, was the Russ Bankin. The Russ ones. Bankin ones were the Hobbit and Return of the King. But then some other thing made like a Lord of the Rings movie, and basically they did a lot of rotoscoping. They got like real actors, and then they just sort of drew a cartoon over them. Oh, I don't remember this. And I love that. And then I like got a videotape of it once, and I watched it again, and I was like, "This is crap!" Nice. Like at the end, you could see they just ran out of money, so they just took like old World War II footage of like Nazis and stuff, and just like silhouetted the Nazis and like drew 
horns on their helmets. Are you kidding and like, me? Put like red dots where their eyes were. We have to find this. What is this? This this this, this thing that you're talking about. We have to find it. It's got to be on it, HBO Max it, or it's, Disney it's, Plus. You could, yeah, it's. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's it's streaming somewhere. But the the only thing I remember from it is is the song. It was like da 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 da. da. <laughs> And like any time, I'm like sometimes when I'm just walking down the street, I'm just like. Da, 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 You're not. Da, 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 you know. Da, 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 da. You know what I hear? I hear Jurassic Park. <laughs> <laughs> like that. Da, the Peter Griffin version. The Peter Griffin version. <laughs> Wait, what's the Peter Griffin version again? It's just him. <laughs> Where's the body? We thought of that too. To you. <laughs> <laughs> you know when that show's funny, it's funny. But anyway. Tangent, tangent. Where's the let's, tangent? Let's, let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. We gave tangent our numbers. Tangent police is your, distracted. Oh, I said two. I said two. You said three. She said and five. You, you both said five. Okay. So Strange. Skip this one. Skip it. Skip it. The majority rules here. I mean, I, I, yeah. I mean, it's not. I don't think any of one of us. Best, I don't sure. think any one of us enjoyed it. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I think for the nostalgia, I was fine to see it, but I certainly don't need to see it ever again. Never again. Yeah, I mean, I w I've yeah. always been curious, so I'm glad I, I ticked this one off, but it put me to sleep. Okay. Okay. Good That's night. That's it from us. Good night. Night. night.